there, little scientists. Are you ready for an adventure into the world of weather? Today, we're going to explore one of nature's coolest mysteries. Why does it rain? Get your thinking caps on, because we're about to become rain detectives. Have you ever looked out the window and wondered, why does it rain? Maybe you've seen raindrops racing down the glass, or heard the gentle tapping on your roof. Rain can be soft and quiet or loud and splashy, but it always makes the world feel fresh and new. Grab your rain boots and your brightest umbrella. Let's find out together. We're going to follow a single drop of water on its amazing journey from the ground up to the sky and back down again. So picture this. The sun is shining down on lakes, rivers, and even puddles. Its warm rays touch the water everywhere, from the biggest oceans to the tiniest bird baths in your backyard. The sun's warmth makes the water warm up and turn into something called water vapor. This is a special kind of magic that happens every sunny day, even if you can't see it. That means the water turns into an invisible gas and rises up, up, up into the sky. This is called evaporation. It's like the water is playing hide and seek, turning invisible as it floats away. Can you say that with me? Evaporation? Awesome job! Evaporation is the first step in the water cycle, and it happens all around us all the time. Now, once the water vapor is way up high, the air is much cooler. The higher you go, the chillier it gets, even on a hot day. The vapor cools down and turns into tiny, tiny drops of water, so small you can barely see them. These drops are like tiny building blocks coming together to make something bigger. These little drops gather together to form big, fluffy clouds. Sometimes clouds look like cotton candy, or even like animals if you use your imagination. This part is called condensation. It's the opposite of evaporation. Instead of turning into gas, the water turns back into tiny drops. Let's say it together. Condensation. You're getting so smart. Condensation is what makes your cold drink look all sweaty on a hot day too. But what happens when too many water drops bunch up in the clouds? The clouds get darker and heavier, almost like they're carrying a big watery backpack. The drops get heavier and heavier until, splat, they fall back down to the ground as, can you guess? That's right, raindrops. This is the moment we've been waiting for. The rain falls on your windows, on plants, and makes puddles perfect for jumping. This is called precipitation. Rain is super important. Without it, our world would be dry and thirsty. It helps plants grow, fills up lakes and rivers, and gives us water to drink. Animals need rain too. Frogs, birds, and even elephants love a good splash. And don't forget, sometimes, after the rain, you might spot a beautiful rainbow in the sky. Rainbows are like nature's way of saying thank you for the rain. So next time you hear the pitter-patter of raindrops, just remember, it's the sun, the clouds, and the sky working together in a giant water cycle. The water cycle never stops, and it keeps our planet healthy and happy. Isn't that amazing? If you had fun learning with me today, don't forget to subscribe for more fun science videos. There's so much more to discover about our wonderful world. See you next time. And don't forget to splash in some puddles. Keep asking questions, keep exploring, and remember, science is everywhere, even in a single drop of rain.